Hi guys, and welcome to another Battlespot Double Series episode. So, we kicked off the week with that Mega Metagross and Hydreigon team. Had a lot of fun with that team, and I hope you guys went out, tried it out on the Battlespot if you had a chance. Today we're going to approach and tackle another request we had. So, I pulled it out of those requests you lovely people have been sending me, and we are going to play a Perish Trap team today. So, as you can see on your screen, two the left or right of me I don't know the camera confuses me you can see anyway <clears throat> we have a team from a Japanese player who has kindly put this QR code up onto the global link website as always I will link the team and the QR code in the description below so if you guys want to go and try it out and um, whilst you're kind of getting your feelers out there on the battle spot doubles format go ahead and try this one out because I think this will be a lot of fun so the team is made up of Gengar which will be Mega Gengar because it is holding that Gengar not Gengarite. If I can get my words out today. Um, so then to kind of complement that, we have the Dugong, got Clefairy, Scrafty, Gothitelle, and Mimikyu. So we have two trappers on the team. We've got the Gothitelle with the Shadow Tag and the Mega Gengar that gets a sh Shadow Tag after a Mega Evolves. We've got a lot of Fake Out support there with the Scrafty and the Dugong and that Follow Me support, really important from that Clefairy. And it also has Friend Guard as well to just boost the defenses of everything on our side of the field. And interestingly enough, we have a Mimikyu to kind of round off the team. And the Mimikyu is quite interesting. It's got the Ghost DMZ. It's got Destiny Bond. So we can use that um, Z Destiny Bond, which pulls it in all attacks. So it's a bit like a Follow Me. Um, but if something kills it on that turn, it will go down as well. So that's pretty good. Um, Shadow Claw, Play Rough, and Protect just to round things off there. As you'll notice as well, everything on the team has Protect. And it's quite important to have Protect on pretty much all of your Pokemon. Because you are playing Perish Trap, you need to get those Protects off when you can. Um, <clears throat> but you've got to plan your games out. So, it's going to be really cool to play. I haven't played a Perish Trap team since, I think, mid-2015. And it was a very similar, very famous um, Perish Trap team um, conceived that year that, that kind of looked a lot like this. Obviously we didn't have the Mimikyu in it, but the, the rest of the Pokemon were very similar. So it's going to be super interesting. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Um, I'm just going to pull up because we have got the QR code team already loaded up on our DS. So we'll just jump straight onto the battle spot ladder and hopefully find some opponents pretty quickly. Yeah, so... If you guys checked out yesterday's episodes of the School of Hard Knocks, you would have seen that I am still struggling along with Terence Dre's team. But the good news is, guys, tomorrow's episode of the School of Hard Knocks it will have. It's going to be a bit of a special episode. We're going to have Terence actually on the channel here with us um, playing the team. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So do make sure you check that out tomorrow night at 7.30 UK time. And we have our first opponent of the day. They are running a team of Excadrill, Tapu Koko, Mimikyu... Landorus, Tyranitar, and Cresselia. So, one big problem straight away is the Mimikyu. Um, we can't trap ghost types. Ghost types are immune to being trapped, so they can switch in and out um, whenever they like. My opponent does have two potential um, switch out Pokemon in that Tapu Koko with the Volt Switch and the Landorus with the U-Turn. Um, and then we've also got to worry about that sand mod and the trick room as well from the Cresselia because Tyranitar is going to threaten a lot of things on this team um, and the Excadrill as well, especially with the speed boost in the sand. So we do have to be careful. Scrafty is threatened by that Tapu Koko as well, so it's not as easy just leading off um, against the Tapu Koko as we maybe like to. Um, also, the Dugon is threatened quite heavily from it as well. So what are we going to do, what are we going to do, what are we going to do? I think it's important that we, we do get Mega Gengar, Mega Evolved as soon as we can. So I'm going to bring that. I'm going to bring Scrafty as well. Um, hmm. Clefairy here. I, I think we need Gothitelle. And let's go with Dugong as our last one. Yeah. So let's see how we get on in this first match. I've not played a single game with this team. So... We are going into this together. I do love the idea of Perish Trap. I think it's one of the, the more like really cool concepts of like um, tactics um, like game plan ideas in Pokemon. I like I just love everything about a really well put together Perish Trap team. 
um, one person to watch out for in particular Parish song does become a thing again is Wolfie Glick because he is a very very well versed player with that so he's someone to definitely keep an eye on in, in tournaments over in the US or the internationals next season if it's allowed because he's like in some of his matches go back and try and see if you can find some games from 2015 he plays it so well it's just yeah amazing to watch so anyway on to this match so my opponent leads off with that Landorus and the Mimikyu um, we do get the Intimidate off which is nice we can fake out the Landorus if we want to um, the Mimikyu is putting on a lot of pressure on our Scrafty though with that potential play rough into that slot and obviously it does threaten the Mega Gengar as well and we can't um, fake it out so what are we going to do hmm let's think let's think let's think I think what we might do is just Mega Evolve Gengar Protect and I want to switch in or do I want to just I think I'm just going to attack with Scrafty to be honest um, I'm just going to go for a knockoff into the Mimikyu try and break that disguise get rid of an item if it's got one um, we'll probably see the lander, so I'll probably go for a U-turn, I would imagine. I can't see it locking into Earthquake. Might lock into uh, Rock Slide though, you know, to pick up flinches, but we'll see. So we do get the Protect off with Gengar. Do you see a Hammer Arm come out from this Landorus? Scrafty, like a champ, is able to take that. I wonder if we're going to see um, a Trick Room come out here from that Mikyu. Hmm. Does activate our eject button though, which isn't ideal. Um, I'm just going to bring in Dugon because the next turn at least we'll be able to get a fake out onto that Landorus. Hmm. And we see a play ref come out. So the eject button kind of saving our, our butts there. Um, hmm. See, the thing is, I can see probably a, a ghost type attack come onto my Mega Gengar. So I think what I'm going to do here is switch out Mega Gengar to Scrafty just to get another Intimidate. And I'm going to go for a. Hmm. Should I go for just a fake out into the Landorus here? I just want to stop it attacking. Mimikyu's not an ideal Pokemon to play against with Perish Trap. It feels like you need like a fairy type in the team. It would be like super handy right now. So we do get the fake out off onto this Landorus. We'll stop it attacking at least this turn. And we'll see a Shadow Claw like we expected into that Scrafty slot. Right, so. I think I'm going to double down into the Mimikyu. We'll probably see the Landra switch out here. Um, hmm. We may say play rough come in. Um, probably better off going for Goth the Tell here and going for the Perish Song. Yeah. I'll go for it. So there's the Landorus, it's going to switch out now. So we do force it out. And Tapu Koko comes in. So we'll withdraw Scrafty. Get this Gothitelle in. We say play rough. Okay. So we get the Paris song off. But we've got to remember that this Mimikyu can switch out at any time. So Right, what is my opponent gonna go for here? I think I'm just going to go for a Psychic into the Mimikyu and I'm going to protect my Dugong here. Or I could switch it out into the Scrafty again to be honest. Might not be a bad idea and Heal Pulse the Scrafty, yeah. That's what I'm going to do, so I'll go for a Heal Pulse. 
of my own and I'm gonna just get the Scrafty and the Scrafty should be able to take whatever kind of gets thrown out at it. Hopefully a Thunderbolt. It's gonna be tight though, it's gonna be tight. Hopefully they double into the Gothitelle. Oh, so we just see Dazzling Gleam, which isn't ideal for Scrafty, because it will take us down. Ugh. Okay, so we don't get the heal pulse off at all. <laughs> that Mimikyu has been oh, such a pain. Um, Perish Song gets counted down to two. Um, and we could bring in Mega Gengar here. I think it's probably a good time to, to be honest. I'm just going to double protect this turn. Just the turn to double protect that. Because hmm. I could just sludge bomb the Tapu Koko, but or I could just Shadow Ball. Yeah, I think it's too obvious that the, the Coco might... Like, it could go for the Mimikyu to break the Disguise. But the Coco and then the Mimikyu could just double into Gengar, which wouldn't be ideal at all. So you're going to see a Z-move. Is that Gigavolt Havoc? So I wonder if that is into the Gothitelle. Possibly thinking that we'll go for another heal pulse. Yeah. But Gothitelle able to take that quite comfortably. We just see Shadow Claw into the Gengar. And we're going to see everyone's sh perish count go down to one. Hmm. So we need to get the Gothitelle out of here. So I'm just going to switch in Dugong and hopefully we see the... Oh no, we haven't got Sludge Bomb. Hmm. Hmm. That is not ideal. Okay. Uh, we might lose the Gengar here. Maybe. So I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball into the Tapu Koko. I don't think it's going to be enough to pick up the KL though. And hopefully we don't see a Thunderbolt into that Dugan slot. We do see a Volt Switch though. Yeah. This is not going too well. At all. <laughs> hmm. But if that Mimikyu stays in, then... If the Mimikyu doesn't switch out, which it's not going to switch out, it is just going to go down to the Perish Song. Which is like the one thing on the team that I need to get rid of. So if that... That will go down this turn. It'll probably attack into the Gengar though, won't it? We do see there that the Tapu Koko does outspeed our Gengar, so we're running a bit of a bulkier Gengar here. Do take a Shadow Claw. But we do survive. Mimikyu goes down. Hmm. We do have to worry about that. Landorus. Um, although we can just go fake out and Shadow Ball into the Landorus. We should be outspeeding it and we should be able to pick up the kill with the with the Shadow Ball, to be honest. The other thing what we could do is go for a um, a fake out into the Tapu Koko and just double into it. Which might not be a bad idea. But I don't, I don't really want to risk that too much. We could fake out the Landorus and go for a Perish Song. Expecting the Tapu Koko to maybe protect. Hmm... No, we'll not do that. We'll just go for the Shadow Ball and the Fake Out. It feels a bit safer going for that. 
So we don't see a fake out come out, so it was a good job that we did go into that type of call call. Oh, Landris actually outspeeds us. So it might be scoffed, you know. The thing is, we get really lucky there with our, with our Gengar. Because um, that Rock Slide probably would have taken us down. I think the Hammer Arm threw me off uh, from that Landris. It just doesn't make too much sense to run Hammer Arm um, with a scoffed variant. But, I don't know. Depends how much speed we've got in this Mega Gengar. It might not be very much speed at all. And I guess you don't really need too much speed. Hmm. So we see the extra drill come in as the last Pokemon. We know my opponents used his Z move, so um What can we do here? Could just go Hmm. Could just go Perish Song with my Dugong and switch it in Gothitelle, expecting the Tapagog just to protect this turn and an earthquake to come out from the extra drill. That would probably make more sense. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully the Tapacoco protects. Like, we need the Tapacoco to protect. Because if the Dugong goes down here, we're, we're not going to win. There's a protect. So we next thing, we need to survive the Earthquake. Which I'm pretty sure both my Pokemon can. As long as it's not like Choice Band. So close. And we get the Perish Song off. So. Right, let's think. How we how how can we do this now? We've got three turns. Okay. I think we're gonna need a double protect somewhere along the way. Well we've got Gengar on the back, so we double protect this turn. Yeah, because like, whatever happens really, we double protect this turn, next turn, everything gets knocked out, goes down to, yeah, it goes down to two now, goes down to one, we bring Gengar and protect and we win, so we've got it, we've got it. Getting very lucky though with that rock slide miss, which was really unfortunate for my opponent. But this is like a super tough team to kind of come up against, like the Mimikyu, I don't know why my opponent didn't switch it out, Um, maybe the were happy they stack it or maybe they didn't realise or I don't know. So Perish Song drops to two on all Pokemon. Here we can just everything can get knocked out really. Um I'll just go for a disable onto the Excadrill. And just a heal pulse onto the Dugong. I don't think we're gonna get either attack off. Tapakoko protects, so we're just going to see another Earthquake come out from the Excadrill here. We'll pick up the KO on both Pokemon. But we're alright, we've got Gengar in the back to bring in. And we can just go for a Protect and the Perish Song will hit those two. Perish Song is one now and we should win the game. Whew. And I think a lot of times with Perish Song, like, you need a tiny bit of luck to kind of go your way to pull it off, like, the majority of the time, or consistently anyway. Um, and then we got lucky with a, a Rock Slide miss, because the Gengar would have went down to that Rock Slide miss otherwise. But we're quite easy just to go for Protect here. Perish Song will run down on both the Excadrill and the Tapu Koko. And we will pick up a win. So... Not too bad, not too bad. See the extra drill go for that earthquake is probably gonna knock out the Tapu Koko. Bit unfortunate for my opponent. And the extra drill goes down to the perish song. So yeah, good game to my opponent. Um like I say, we got a little bit lucky with that rock slide miss, but all in all. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I think it was really difficult with that Mimikyu. Like, Mimikyu feels like um, you need a specific counter in the team for that. Um, and I would definitely like something with, like, like even um, a Tapu Lele. Oh, you couldn't put Tapu Lele in because of the Psychic Terrain, but um, maybe Tapu Finny 
might be an option there, um, like Choice Specs Tapu Fini. Uh, you can launch big attacks off into stuff that, uh, like, and it's it's bulky enough to kind of handle the Mimikyu. Um, hmm. I don't know. Yeah. And Porygon 2, maybe. Porygon 2 has a good matchup against it. That's not a bad Trick Room setter either if you wanted to go down that route with the team. But either way, we got to win. So that's the main thing. So we're going to move on to our next game. And hopefully we'll find an opponent pretty quickly. Um, and we do, just like magic. We've got our next opponent. So that's Screech from Florida. Uh, and they're running a team of, very cool team. So we see Greninja, which is like, just a, a cool Pokemon. Um, Arcanine, another Mimikyu. Gyarados, Porygon Z, and Weavile. So Weavile, definitely not something we want to be seeing here. It does threaten the Gengar. Threatens the Gothitelle. Um, hmm. Mimikyu again is a massive pin. Like, what have we got on this Clefairy? Let's have a look. Have we got anything that we can... No, we've not got any attacks on the Clefairy. We've got Psychic. I think we could possibly bring Mimikyu here. Um, but then we're kind of limiting ourselves to what um, Perish Trap user we want to go for. Um, but Mimikyu can hit the, the Weavile and the Greninja for good damage. Um, it doesn't need to worry too much about the Porygon Z. Um, and we've got the the, the the Z Destiny Bond as well that we could maybe take advantage of. So I'm going to leave Mimikyu, I'm going to lead Scrafty with that. Um, actually I'm not going to lead Scrafty, I'm going to bring Gengar. Because it's not Earthquake really on my opponent's team. I will bring Scrafty and I'm going to bring Clefairy. So we've only really got Gengar as a Perish Song mod here. Um, so we do need to play with it very carefully. And the reason for me not needing Scrafty in this match is I can switch it in turn one if I want to take an attack and get it straight back out um, with that eject button. And if it stays in, then we've got fake out pressure for the next turn, but if not, then it is in the back to kind of recycle the Intimidate if we needed to. So we see my opponent, they are leading off with the Weavile and that Greninja. So now, like it's a... Um, hmm. What we got on? So I could just double protect here, to be honest. Uh, just a Mega Evolve um, Gengar. Hmm. Hmm. Or I could Z Destiny Bond. Mm -mm. I don't think I want to though, just yet. Just gonna mega evolve and protect. So you don't need to worry about faint or anything like that. The boss types are immune to that. So we will mega evolve Gengar. Just gonna protect that and protect on many key. So you see Knock Off and what? And Dark Pulse. Does turn into a Dark Type and goes into the Gengar. Okay. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is just go for a Play Rough into the Weavile and I'm going to switch in my Scrafty for my, my Gengar here to take that potential Dark Pulse. And we'll also get an Intimidate onto the Weavile as well. We see water shuriken come out from the Greninja. It's going to be into that Mimikyu, I'd imagine. Yeah. It does break the disguise. Poor Mimikyu. I wonder how many times it's going to hit. Five times. 
Wow. And we see a knockoff into this Scrafty. It is going to activate. No, it's not. It's just going to knock off the eject button, so it doesn't activate it. That's interesting. Oh, and the player rough misses. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is a bit unfortunate. Um, I think what we could do is just go for the player rough again into the Weavile and just go for a fake out into the Greninja. I have the worst luck with player rough hitting, so I'll not be surprised if it misses again here. See an icicle crash. Hopefully, after the Intimidate, we are able to take this. We don't see any flinches come out. Oh my god. There's no way we take that. Ugh. Okay. So. I think we're going to have to try and go another route here. Um, so I'm going to protect Gengar here. And I'm going to switch in Clefairy. The next turn we'll go for Follow Me and Perish Song. And the next turn we can protect, bring Scrafty back in. And hopefully just get rid of this pair. So you see knock off into the Weaver, into the Gengar. We see a Dark Pulse. I wonder if they, they must be doubling into that Gengar slot. No. Dark Pulse into the Clefairy. Okay. So, we need to go for the Perish Song here, and, hmm. Problem is, my opponent's probably just going to double into the, um, the Clefairy with a knockoff, and probably a Water-type move, I'd imagine. So, uh, here I'm not going to, because I don't want the evil, if you all like to just, I don't want to lose it on the Clefairy so soon. So I'm going to switch in my Scrafty for that slot. It might seem a bit crazy and we might get punished for it. My opponent sees through this then. Yeah, but I want to go for a Perish Song here. So there's the knockoff into the Scrafty, which was Clefairy. So that pays off. Hopefully no Dark Pulse here. And we do see that we're actually faster than the Greninja, which is interesting. And uh, just a dog pulse. Okay. Not ideal. Hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like Gengar's gonna go down to anything here, so um I'm going to switch out Scrafty for Clefairy here because we're going to need that follow me the next turn. Let me see Pursuit. It's not going to do very much damage. And we'll get the Clefairy in. Do you see an ice beam? Is it going to be into the Clefairy slot? Yeah. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> this is the worst. Um, okay. I think what we can do. Switch in Scrafty. For Gengar. Hope something goes down here. And. Um, hmm. Hmm. Go for a protect and hopefully we thaw out. But if we don't hope, we've got to hope that Clefairy gets knocked out. Ah, oh, and there we go, there's the pursuit. So that's it. Uh, it's game over. Without the follow me there, we kind of lost it. Hmm. I think being really naive and thinking the Mimikyu could take the uh, Icicle Crash from the Weavile. Um, that's really cost us. Yeah, my opponent can just switch both of his Pokemon out now and um, 
just reset the parish so and we've not really got anything on our side of the field so it hasn't really went that well to plan so we'll just quit now while we're ahead and we'll jump into one more game with the team today's episode <sighs> a bit disappointing um, and again another reason why it would be good to have um, a fairy type on the team because dog types there like you see we've got scrafty but we don't have any fighting type move on the scrafty to hit those dog types with so like having the inclusion of some sort of fairy type on the team would kind of give you um, at least an option um, to bring against dog types and put them off a little bit and it gives up Gengar a bit more protection I feel and you know and the Gothitelle as well um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Something like Tapu Fini would probably be quite nice. Um, just because we're not really utilizing any sort of um, stats moves in the team here. So it would only benefit us. We can't be put to sleep. We can't be burnt and things like that. So I don't know. It's definitely an option. Tapu Koko could be another option as well. Because um, it's a fast bolt switch user that you can kind of use to pivot around and get Pokemon in. So... It's just an idea, um, but there are definite threats to this team. And again, we've got a double dark core here, so it's going to cause us a lot of issues going into this match. So we need to play this a lot better than what we have done in the past. Um, so my next opponent has a team of Starmie, Alolamuk, Tapu Koko, Crocodile, Salamence, and Whimsicott. And there's another Pokemon that's going to cause us a few issues, that Whimsicott, uh, because it has Taunt, uh, priority Tone, Priority Encore. Hmm. Which is not going to be a lot of fun. Um, so, what are we going to do? I think Gengar Scrafty here is not bad. We can go for that Parasong straight away. Um, Gothitelle. And do we want Dugong here? Dugong uh, or Clefairy? Thing is, bringing Dugong it gives us another option for Fake Out and another option for the Perish Song. So I'm kind of swaying towards that um, every time. And you know what? The more we're playing this, the more I'm thinking now, like I want to build my own Perish Trap team because I've got like, like I keep saying, like I've got like it's easy to identify what really like causing us lots of issues. So it's kind of just patching up those problems. So you've got a different mod against those sort of Pokemon, and then you kind of like slowly kind of polishing off what could be a really good strategy um, with the Perish Song. So we're going to see my opponent lead off with the Tapu Koko and the Whimsicott. We lead off with our Gengar and our Scrafty. Um, so here what I'm going to do, it's a bit difficult to be honest because um, huh. like we've really got it we've got to fake out the Tapu Koko but the, the taunt is so apparent on that uh, Whimsicott that it's kind of puts you off going for the the Perish Song hmm. but it will Mega Evolve and I think I will just go for the Perish Song and I think I will just go for a fake out huh could go Quick Guard hmm no no, 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 no. We have got Quick Guard though, so we can take advantage of it. So we could have went for the Quick Guard, or we could have went for the Fake Out into that... That Whimsicott, but... That hasn't happened. We are going to evolve our Mega Gengar though. Whimsicott Protect? Okay. That makes things way easier. Um, like a definite lesson, like you guys need to know is like when you're playing a parish trap team, like do not protect in front of them. Like you can't give them any room to get the parish song off for free. Um, so I'm quite happy here just to protect with Gengar and <clears throat> could I swap in maybe? Could swap in the Dugong. And then we've got the fake out for the muck the next turn, I guess. Yeah. Let's do that. 
it swaps Scrafty out and my opponent just forfeits knowing that there's probably not much he can do to kind of come back but that's what I mean like um, it's a bit silly forfeiting right there I mean you can't play it out and see if you can kind of claw the game back because you don't know what is going to happen but that's what I mean about giving like Perish Song any room to set up you need to be like putting pressure on and attacking just attacking as much as you can um, each turn but good game to my opponent, however brief it was. And because it was so brief, guys, I think what we'll do, we'll jump into another game because that wasn't really counting as a third game, was it? And uh, we want to really kind of show off this Perish Song team. But like I say, I think in the future, I'm going to definitely build my own Perish team um, and feature on the channel. It's such a cool um, strategy to run with. And uh, who doesn't love Mega Gengar as well? Mega Gengar is like one of the coolest Megas. So we have our next opponent, thankfully very quickly, and they've got a Mimikyu, which we do not like to see, a Snorlax, a Charizard, which would probably be Charizard Y, Garchomp, Tapu Fini, and Vankavolt. So, hmm. Right, what are we gonna do here? We could lead off with, hmm. The problem is the Mimikyu again because we like I feel like I need like a solid way to just beat it. Um I might bring my own Mimikyu here. Um and should I bring Scrafty? Scrafty's not bad to be honest. Cause I could see maybe the Mimikyu Snorlax come out from my opponent. Um Although I really need to try and get the Mega Gengar out first to Mega Evolve it. Now, I'm going to lead Scrafty, I'm going to bring Mega Gengar and I think I'm going to bring Dugong, Dugong, Dugong as well. Yeah, let's go with that. So, let's see how my opponent does lead off. We're not going to see the Mimikyu or the Snorlax. We are going to see, rightly so, the, probably the, the Charizard Y and the Garchomp. So my opponent here can quite happily put on as much pressure as they want with a big fire type attack from that Charizard and an Earthquake from the Garchomp. <clears throat> so, I think... What do I do here? I could go for Never, Night Never Ending Nightmare. Um, but I think I'm probably better off just going for a pair off into the Garchomp. Um, possibly a fake out into the Charizard. Yeah, let's go for that. So Charizard does reveal that it is Charizard Y. Do get the fake out off onto it. So we're gonna prevent it from moving this turn. Gotcha, I'm just going for the earthquake. So we will lose our disguise on a Mimikyu. And the other nice thing is that we're gonna be able to get the Scrafty out without a jack button. Now. And, hmm, what do we wanna bring in? We want to bring in Mega Gengar. Yeah, that might not be a bad move. The thing is with bringing in Mega Gengar is we do have to be careful with the the spread move um, from Charizard Y. But <clears throat> I've got a plan, I've got a sneaky plan that we might be able to get away with. So we get the player rough onto the Garchomp. We do good damage on it as well. It all depends on the um, the speed of the Charizard though. So let me just check the speed of our Mimikyu. Hopefully we're running like a super fast. Yeah, we are running max speed. So we will be outspeeding modest Charizard. We should be able to take an earthquake from that Mega from that Gengar Chomp. So we could potentially go for the Z Destiny Bond here and get rid of 
the Charizard. Because we should take the Earthquake, and then the Heat Wave should pick up the KO after that. Um, and that's my thinking. So let's do that. Let's go Z Destiny Bond. And let's go Mega Evolve. And we'll just protect this turn. We have hit the Mega Evolve button, yeah. Yeah, we are Mega Evolving. And we'll just protect with Gengar. Oh, oh dear. So we're going to see the, <laughs> the Garchomp retreat. I hope we don't waste this Z Destiny Bond. And if the Charizard is faster than us, then we're not in a great place either way. So we see Flamethrower. Oh, no! <laughs> so we do see it is max speed. It's going to be timid. Probably max speed or just thereabouts. Charizard, we do completely waste our um, Z move. Completely waste it. Um, hmm. Which is pretty rubbish. Um, hmm. What's the speed of our, our Gengar here? Um, right, so we definitely are at speed in the Charizard. Um, hmm. So one thing we could do is switch out Mimikyu into Scrafty. Get the Intimidate onto that Snorlax and go for a Disable onto the Charizard to stop it using the flamethrower. And you've got to kind of hope that it hasn't got Heat Wave here. Right. There's the Disable. Ugh. <laughs> And there we go, there's... Oh, it's into the Scrafty, alright, okay. Hmm. Um, there's not a lot we can do, if I'm, like, completely honest with you. Does that mean we can go... One thing we could do is go for a fake out onto the Charizard and go for a disable onto the Snorlax. To disable the high horsepower. So we see Protect come out from the Charizard. And here we can. Bring in the dugong. Yeah, let's bring in the dugong for the Scrafty. And let's protect the Gengar. The next turn we can go for the fake out, perish song, protect, bring Scrafty back in. Hopefully it goes down, bring the dugong in, we'll get rid of these two. There is method in the madness, but not easy. So we see a heat wave come out from this Charizard Y. Dugong is going to be able to take this. Just the return, if we can take it. Should be able to after the Intimidate, yeah. We just get up a Berry proc. Okay, so this is game on now. Game back on, I should say. Sunlight does fade. We just went around it in such a long-winded way. So we can go for a fake out onto the Charizard and we can finally get our Perish song up. We get the fake out on the Charizard. We'll probably just see a return from the Snorlax come out onto that Dugong again. Charizard flinches. Oh, and we see a belly drum. Okay. So Snorlax. Making itself as threatening as possible before it goes down. Hmm. The Charizard is no longer disabled as well. Person gets counts to three. Huh. So 
So we know the Snorlax has to use Return. Has to use Return. Um, so I could switch in Mimikyu. Hmm, no. I think it's better off switching in Scrafty here. New Scrafty. Protect with Gengar. Like we were going to do in the first place. So getting Intimidate off. It's not going to matter too much, really. Get the Protect off. Probably see a Heat Wave come out, which will pick up the KR onto the Scrafty. But we just see a Flamethrower into the Gengar slot and return. Yeah. So Snorlax is no longer disabled. Hmm. Right. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do here? Because I could bring in. Hmm. Right, I'm bringing Dugong here. We need a double protect, really. Um, because the Snorlax just goes for a high horsepower now. Um, We could fake out into the, the Snorlax, because the Charizard's the more likely one to protect here, but there's no reason for it to protect. It went full flame for our last turn, so it's probably gonna go for Heat Wave this turn. Um, so I could just fake out into that slot. Um, hmm. Don't think a Shadow Ball's gonna be enough to pick up the KO there. I think my... Uh, I'm just going to go for the Disable into the Charizard slot. Like, I could switch in Mimikyu here, but to be honest, it's not probably not going to go down to um, a Flamethrower. The, the Sun's not up, so... Oh, and Charizard actually goes for the Flamethrower. Wow, okay. So, that's just... Okay. So, we just double protect here. Somehow. Um... Or should we switch to Mimikyu now? No, we don't. We don't switch to Mimikyu just yet. So we'll protect Gengar for one more turn. Dugong, we'll get the protect off. Charizard goes for the heat with now. So get a really lucky break there. Uh, it would have made way more sense to like alternate your moves, none at the disables on your opponent's side. Oh no! And amongst all the craziness, we forget that our Gengar has got the Perish Song on it itself. Idiot! <laughs> oh. Okay. What a fool. So yeah, we should have switched out to the Mimikyu there. Idiots. Huh. <sighs> Okay, so we'll bring in Mimikyu. You know my opponent's got that low health Garchomp and Tapu Fini. Right. Hmm. What can we do here? We'll go for a Perish Song with that Dugong, and I think I'm just going to protect with Mimikyu. Because with Perish Song, there's always a way. Always a way. I can't believe I just, like, totally ignored the the Gengar Perish Song on that the whole time. We are going to see a Tectonic Rage from this Garchomp. And it probably isn't to the Mimikyu, I'd imagine. 
Yeah. Doing a bit of damage. Can we say Moonplast into the Dugong. But we should be able to take this. Yeah. Special attack does lower, but we don't mind that too much. And we get the Parasong off. So, what are we going to go for here? Hmm. We could just... <laughs> could just play rough the Garchomp to be honest or we could just perish song um, like I think hmm. the Garchomp's probably going to go for an earthquake I'd imagine here has to go for an earthquake right I think we'd probably survive an earthquake though with Mimikyu just about maybe maybe a roll it's like double target, so it should do. I don't know. Hmm. Because I could go Destiny Bond here. If we survive the Earthquake, and then if my opponent doubles in, then the Finny goes down. Let's go Destiny Bond. With Mimikyu. So we'll protect the Dugong. Garchomp just goes Rock Slide. So if the Finny does attack into that slot, that's going to be amazing for us, because we're going to get the Destiny Bond off now. And it is, so... going to be able to take the Finny down with us. The only problem is now, though, is can the Dugong take a an Earthquake from the Garchomp? Because... single target and I don't know if we'll be able to, to take it to be honest might be able to whatever the case I'm gonna go for a disable into the Garchomp if Dugong can hang on we win this match there's the earthquake I don't know if we'll be able to take it though I don't know nah very close though very close a lot closer than what I thought it was going to be, especially after Charizard went for the, the flamethrower twice in a row. But very good game to my opponent, very enjoyable game. And guys, we'll wrap things up there. We've had a lot of games with this team today. Um, and I, the main thing is I hope you guys have enjoyed it. That's the main thing. If you have enjoyed the episode, guys, and the videos, uh, the matches that we've played today, please leave a like on this episode. It is massively appreciated. It does help the channel out a lot. If you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe do stay uh, you will get all up to date with all of the um, the daily content that we have coming out so we have school of hard knocks on a Monday Wednesday and Friday in between that we have uh, battle spot doubles episodes on a Tuesday and a Thursday and a QR code on Wednesday and then extra at the moment we have our MBL season 2 matches so we have a team building video on a Friday and then the match on a Saturday and between myself and my teammate Hibiki we alternate those week by week on each other's channels so um, next week as it'll be next week now um, it'll be we're playing team Jamie so the team building will be on my channel on Friday the battle video will be on Hibiki so that's kind of how it works and then the next week it'll all reverse and then I'll have the battle video here will have the team building video Anyway, guys, I'm not going to drag this on any longer because it's probably been a pretty long episode as it is. But as I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about anything in the episode, any of the matches, any of the players, any of the Pokemon, anything like that, just drop me a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and we will be back tomorrow, which I'm super excited for because as I've been saying all week, we've been playing Terran Stray's team um, on our School of Hard Knocks and we're going to have him as a special guest tomorrow pre him going off to Indianapolis to play in the American International. So it'll be a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of questions from and hopefully be able to kind of turn our look around with the team and get us playing with it a little bit better. So do make sure you check that out tomorrow, guys, 7.30 UK time. And until then, guys, whatever you do and have an amazing time, make sure you're taking care of yourselves. And until tomorrow, when I will see you all then for Friday, because we're all, we all love Friday. Friday is definitely the best day of the week. Saturday is pretty good, but Friday, Friday is the end. 
ready for a break. So we're all looking forward to that anyway. So like I say, guys, until then, see you later and take care and bye-bye.